the sum of all the natural numbers equal to negative 1 over 12. Here's the proof. So I denote s to be 1 minus 1 plus 1 minus 1 plus 1. So therefore, 1 minus s is equal to 1 minus 1 minus 1 plus 1 minus 1 plus 1. That is equal to 1 minus 1 uh, minus minus plus minus plus minus uh, minus minus plus minus plus minus. So again, here we have 1 minus 1 plus 1 minus 1 plus 1. Again, we have s. So, which means 1 minus s, right, earlier, 1 minus s is equal to s, so therefore, 1 is equal to this minus s to move on to this side, so 2s. So, s is equal to 1 over 2. Right? Even though s is oscillating in between, so, first, so here, first term, 1. Sum of the first two terms, 0. Sum of first three terms, 1. So it's oscillating between 1 and 0, 0 and 1. But from an arithmetic mean point of view, average value, 0 and 1, is half. So it makes perfect sense. And also, t denotes 1 minus 2 plus 3 minus 4 plus 5 minus 6. So all the even numbers are negative, and all the odd numbers are positive. So let me look at 2t. 2t is equal to t plus t. That is equal to 1 minus 2 plus 3 minus 4 plus 5 minus 6. Like I said, plus the same thing. So plus 1, right, copy down 1, minus 2, copy down plus 3. Top down minus 4, plus 5, so on and so forth. So basically, this, so th this is one place, uh, it, it, they're not in line. The, per the point is that here I can have first 1, second I can, negative 2 plus 1, negative 1, uh, plus 3 minus 2, plus 1, minus 4 plus 3, minus 1. Plus 5 minus 4 plus 1. Minus 6 plus 5. So again, this looks familiar. Exactly S. So like I said, 2t is equal to S. So t is equal to half of S. And S is known to be half. So t is equal to a quarter. And finally, we can have x denotes 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 5 plus 6 the sum of all the natural numbers and x minus t is equal to 1 plus 2 plus 3 4 5 6 minus t that is 1 minus 2 plus 3 minus 4 plus 5 minus 6 and that is equal to, so the first term minus first term, so 0. Right. Second term, minus minus plus, so 2 plus 2. 3 minus 3, again 0. Right. 4 minus minus 4 plus 4. Right. Again we have 0. 5 minus 6, 6 plus 6. So that is equal to 4 plus, plus 8 plus 12. I ignore all the zeros. Factor of 4, we have 1 plus 2 plus 3. And that's exactly 4 times x. So this time. This time, x minus t is equal to 4x. So minus t is equal to, I'm going to move this x to this side, right? So 4x minus x, 3x. So 
x is equal to negative t over 3. That is negative t is what? 1 over 4. Negative 1 over 12. What went wrong? 